QuickBooks Enterprise 2021 free trial version download. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Enterprise 2021. One way to get there is to type into your favorite browser, in this case Google, QuickBooks Desktop Free Trial. You want to make sure that you're looking for the desktop version. If you do not, you will most likely find a free trial version for an online version. So we want to get the desktop version. Enterprise is one of the formats of the desktop version. Then you can search for it here. There's going to be the download page at this time. We have the URL up top, so you can also try copying that URL, although it is somewhat long. So I think the browser search would be an easier way to go. But the point here is that we're looking at the QuickBooks desktop. So it says here, download a trial of QuickBooks desktop, not the online version. So then we're going to scroll down. We have some options for the downloads that we have. QuickBooks Pro, and then we have the QuickBooks Enterprise. That's the one we want here. We want the QuickBooks Enterprise. So I'm going to go ahead and select that item. Now it could take some time for this to download, but it's going to be downloading down here. It's in the ribbon because I'm in Google Chrome, so it's showing up down below. If you're in like Firefox, you'll get that little arrow up top that will have the downloading item. If you're, if you're in Explorer, I think you'll have a ribbon up top as well. I like to, once this is uploaded, to actually drag it on the desktop so that I can see the installation process. That'll be the installation software, which we can then run from the desktop, which should then put another icon on the software, that being the actual program of QuickBooks Enterprise for our free trial version. So here it is. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna pull that out of Chrome. I'm gonna put it on the desktop. So out of Chrome, on the desktop. So now we have it on the desktop here. There's the one I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and run it. I'm gonna run it. Here we go, double clicking on it to run it. Now it's gonna be running this program. It can take a little bit, a little while for this to work. QuickBooks is a fairly large program. So we have the QuickBooks uh, Desktop Enterprise. 30-day free trial, QuickBooks Desktop Enterprise is the most flexible version of QuickBooks designed for more complex businesses. Uh, it offers the flexibility to adopt your business needs with the look and feel of QuickBooks to help you run your business more uh, efficiently. You will be installing a 30 day, a 30 user trial, a 30 user trial. If you decide to purchase QuickBooks Enterprise, you will be given the option to buy 5, 10, or up to 30 user licenses based on your needs. So I'm going to say, all right, install it. Now it is installing, so it says, welcome to QuickBooks. Uh, complete your QuickBooks installation with just a few steps. For smooth installation, it is a good idea to close any open programs, especially virus protection programs, once the installer is located, accept the license agreement to continue. Now I'm not gonna do that now because I'm, I'm trying to record this as we go, so I would recommend doing that. Uh, and, uh, and then uh, I'm not closing the virus software as well, but again, I would recommend uh, to do that as is as is requested here i'm gonna i'm gonna risk it here and try doing it without it and see if we can install it so i'm gonna go ahead and accept and continue then it says choose the installation location and it's going to be on the c drive under programs and so on and so forth that's kind of like the default location looks good to me i'm not going to put it anywhere other than the default so i'm going to say next on that so next it then gives us the license and product number. So this, this is given to us because it's the free trial version. But you may want to take a screenshot of that just to make sure that you have it in case when you open up the QuickBooks program, it asks for it. So I would open up Word or something like that, take a snippet of, of the screen, have that ready in case there's any, if there's any complications or requests for those numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and install. Installation is now complete, so QuickBooks has successfully installed. That's good news. We're going to go ahead and open QuickBooks. Let's open it up. So next it says select QuickBooks Desktop Industry Specific uh, Edition. So QuickBooks Desktop Enterprise Solutions product is available in several industry specific editions. Choose a QuickBooks Desktop Industry Specific Edition tailored to fit the specific needs of your business. So we got the uh, Enterprise Solutions for a general business versus the solutions for a contractor. So if you're using job cost system, enterprise solutions for manufacturing or wholesaling, so that would be like more of a process cost system typically. Enterprise solutions for a not-for-profit, non-profit, enterprise solutions, uh, professional services, and for uh, solutions for retail. I'm gonna go and just choose the general for now, general business, and then we'll say next. So you have selected general, which we have. Important, if you install QuickBooks Desktop, 
on more than one computer, you must install the same Enterprise Solutions Edition on each computer. Click Finish to configure QuickBooks Desktop to fit your industry and complete the installation. Click the Back button to change your installation now or you can change it later at any time. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, say Finish and it's good to know that we can change it later at any time, which we may do. So now it's uh, closing the live community and it's installing here and opening up, I hope. Then it says occasionally Intuit, the owner of QuickBooks, provide updates to QuickBooks that you can download over the internet through the automatic update feature. Would you like to update now? I'm going to say yes. Let's get the updates. So now it's going to be updating for us. So here we have Intuit QuickBooks Enterprise 30-day free trial. So we can open it in a couple different ways. We, want to, we could have a sample company file, so we could take a look at the sample file. Uh, and then we can have uh, create your own company file so we can start a company file from scratch or we can basically uh, upload a company file as well. We're going to start off by setting up our own uh, test file. So we're going to set up our own company file here for our 30 day free trial. Now I'm going to set it up for somebody else because I don't want Intuit pulling in my information from, uh, from the information, my general information. I like to put just practice information in here. So I'm going to say start the setup process. I'm going to say someone else and start the process. So I'm going to say business name is just going to be enterprise test one file and the industry. I'm going to, I'm going to choose the general product based and that's going to give us our chart of accounts over here. So general product base is what I'll basically practice which which will provide us this chart of accounts which will include accounts related to inventory which will be things like the cost of goods sold account and inventory accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK on that one business type so we can set these up in in multiple business entity types sole proprietorship, corporation, so on and so forth. I'm going to go with the S corporation. Then I'm going to enter the email address here. These fields below are not required. Therefore, I'm not going to enter them at this time. I'm simply going to enter the email address because it's the only one required that is uh, shown by the fact that it has a little red asterisk next to it. So I'll put that one in and then we will continue. So here we are in the software. We got these yellow icons that are kind of guiding us around. I'm going to close them up for now. They're in the help menu if you want to go up there, but I'm going to close up this item. I'm going to close this and just take us to the home page. I'd like to go to the home page or let's see this. How QuickBooks desktop users use your internet connection. I'm going to say OK on that one. And then uh, we could see the chart of accounts. If I go to the list here and I check out the chart of accounts, here's the chart of accounts that has been provided for us. So there we have that. And now it put this file somewhere. So now I should have my QuickBooks program on the desktop and I should have this file located somewhere. So I'd like to locate this file and move it to where I would like to put it. So to do that, I'm going to close the company file by going to the file drop down and then close the company. Once you close QuickBooks, you might have to hunt around a little bit to find the QBW file and then you can move it. But you should have three items now that are related to what we have downloaded. One is the software that will help you download the program. Once we, we ran that, we then had the QuickBooks software, which is going to be for the 30 day free trial version here. Then we created this file, which is going to be the QBW file, the file that will actually be opened when we run the software. Now, when you run the software, it looks a little bit different because every time you open up the software here, it will then open up the the little intro screen, which looks different for the 30 day free trial because it's telling you you got a free trial each time. But you can then open the existing file, which is the one we set up. So the one we set up is the existing file. I can locate it then on uh, the desktop. So here's the one, the test file for enterprise, and then I can open it up that way. And so it opens up in a similar fashion, although when you when you open the program itself, it always opens up to that first page is telling you, hey, look, this is a 30 day trial version. Now, the other way you could do that is if I close this up again, I'm going to close this and close this up again. You should also just be able to double click on the on the QBW file. So if you just double click on it, it may then open up the practice software in the file within it. So when I do that, it still takes me to this screen. So I'll have to find it here. So you got to kind of find it every time. So I got to go in here and then locate it on the desktop. So you basically have to, to locate it each time. But that's not too bad for us to be able to practice it for uh, 30 days. A little bit different, but that'll be fine. So that's how we're going we're gonna to go into it. Then we can make our adjustments to our practice file here. And it looks like we can make basically multiple 
uh, files that we can basically practice with within uh, the 30-day free trial version so we can test out uh, different different kind of versions of the software if we so choose.